Today, we're going to look at Foundation, an app that's going to help us turn our art into NFTs. Always remember to do your own research as some of the tools that I'm about to show in this series are very new. So ladies and gentlemen, before we start, I do have to address the elephant in the room. Yes, you saw my intro change just because I want to celebrate this beautiful, this beautiful silver play button that I got this week. And this is all thanks to each and every one of you watching my content over the past few years. So thank you so much for that. Let's keep on creating, learning and building together. Now we can look at foundation. So foundation is an app and kind of like a marketplace as well, where we can display and sell our art as NFTs. And as a reminder, this video forms part of a series where we take a tool, we create an NFT with it, we rate it at the end, and it acts for me kind of like a diary where I can go back and see which tools I want to use in the future. And hopefully this adds some value to you as well. So Foundation has been around for quite some time. It is a very uh, popular app amongst artists. Uh, and I say amongst artists because this is kind of like a bit more a prestige app. Uh, if we look at apps like OpenSea, I feel like OpenSea, I can compare it to a general marketplace, right? They are very big uh, and there's more customers, I guess, um, and they are very successful. However, Foundation is more of a niche, uh, a niche app a niche marketplace. And I feel like this app is more suited for artists who wants to upload a set or a series of their works and then present it to someone by sending the link and having this beautiful gallery feel to it, uh, as you will see. Now, I've used it once and I'm going to create everything from scratch so we can test it out. This is not a tutorial. This is just me seeing the experience. So let's get started. So right here, when I go to foundation, it's very clean and serene. And I see that there's, you know, a pop-up of maybe a popular uh, auction happening of an artist right now. So let's go and uh, start clicking around. So we actually want to create our own art. So we can click here. We can see there's NFTs, exhibitions, galleries, drops. There's the feed, build your own feed. So. And start building your professional feed by connecting your wallet, following some of your favorite creators. So this is pretty cool. It's kind of like a Instagram, right? Like a social media app where we can connect. However, I want to create. So I am going to connect anyway. And I'm going to use MetaMask. I have tons of videos on how you can get MetaMask extension installed. Um, but I see you can connect with various apps, right? So I'm just going to confirm this. And... Let's see what to do next. Okay, sign in your message. Okay, cool. Let's go and sign this message. And now we get to follow a few artists. Um, let's maybe follow these ones. So after following a few artists, I clicked on the dashboard and now I'm back here. And we can see that we are actually presented with these buttons. Uh, a create button, which is quite exciting. We want to create, but I just want to see what this is. And uh, live, no live activity. Oh, okay, cool. So you can do live auctions will show up here. This is pretty cool. And then also uh, my profile is this pink icon with the wallet address settings and so forth. But I want to go and create an NFT. So I'm going to click on create. And we are presented with this beautiful modal. This is actually really nice, uh, nicely designed and straightforward. I can also see we have a few options. So we can create an NFT, an addition, a drop or a collection. So creating an NFT, uh, we can mint an NFT or create a new NFT uh, and mint it to one of your ERC721 smart contracts. So I take it that we already need one of these smart contracts to do that, but we'll see. Um, we can create an addition, which is multiple mints of the same artwork with a limited supply. Uh, we can do a drop, which is launch a drop. Okay, make a large collection of NFTs that your community can actually mint, which is pretty cool. And then a collection, create a collection, deploy your ERC721 smart contract that you can mint uh, to at any time. I think this is what uh, we want to do. We first want to create a collection 
and then create our NFT on it, right? Um, but for simplicity's sake, for someone who has never done this, I'm going to take the easy route and just click on NFT and say, Mint. Now let's see how well we are guided, right? I want to make this series for artists who have never done this before to see which tools they want to use. So um, here we can see Mint an NFT. To Mint an NFT, you first need to deploy a smart contract. That is true. Um, look at this cool graphic. And then they say uh, Foundation Contracts allows you to deploy best-in-class smart contracts that you own. That's quite cool and very important, right? Um, and can use across all of Web3. So that's important. It means that your artworks would show up on different marketplaces or, you know, you can use this contract. So there's a button, create a new smart contract. I'm going to do that. And now let's fill in some details. So we can read this. But essentially, we need a collection name, symbol, and then we get to select the chain. Now, I already have my data. I'm going to use the same data as I uh, do for the previous videos as well. So my collection name would be Daniel's Lino Art, and then the collection symbol dot, and then for the chain. Okay, so I see we don't get uh, more than a few options here. So, so we will have to go with Ethereum now. This could be expensive, right? I could go for base, but... I'm more familiar with Ethereum and I think I have some, so I can just send some over to this wallet. So let's try and see. I don't know how much it's going to cost, so let's check it out. So I'm on the main chain. And I've sent over about 0 0.01 Ethereum, which is about 45 US dollars. Let's hope that this is enough uh, to create our collection. Okay, so waiting for confirmation. The network fee for this is going to be around 9 USD. So let's say continue. And our transaction is off. So fingers crossed. Our NFT collection is being created. And I must say, um, $9. I'm not sure how much it's going to cost more because I think now that we are doing this on Ethereum, it is more expensive. But I'm very impressed that it's $9 because. Back in 2021, creating smart contracts could get very, very expensive. And I haven't made a smart contract on Ethereum in quite some time. So $9 is not too bad. The grand scheme of things, if you want to get your artworks on the Ethereum chain. But we'll see. Hopefully there's not any more hidden costs. There we go. Our smart contract was deployed. So that's cool. And that was quite quick. Um, and also surprisingly easy, right? So we can now either mint an NFT directly or view our collection. I'm going to mint an NFT because there's nothing in our collection. So let me do that. So now we get to upload the actual media file. Let's see, we can use JPEG, uh, PNG, GIFs, and a lot of media files. I do have my Enjoy Life artwork. This is a lino cut that I made. Um, of course, I put the test over it like this just because... I don't want this to be the official artwork, but um, yeah, this artwork is the one we're going to choose. So I'm going to upload the NFT art piece, right? And click on upload. All right. So now it's uploading to IPFS. Very cool that it's actually telling us where this is being uploaded to the decentral storage. So that is really cool. And it's pretty quick as well. You know, so far, so good. My experience with Foundation as a um, pretend beginner NFT creator or artist is really easy. Uh, and I must say, it's been a smooth process. So now, what's left is a name, which is going to be Enjoy Life for our artwork and description. And now, create a split. So... Enable a split to automatically divide any funds and royalties. This is pretty cool. So I guess you can do this when you want to create and you want to split some royalties with maybe a fellow artist. That's very cool. So you can do that. Uh, but we have a name, a description, and this is the collection where this is going to go to. So we can just mint. Now let's see what the costs are going to be for minting the actual NFT. Remember, this is where we actually create this NFT. We've created the collection, 
now we create the nft and it's about 11 bucks um just a bit more uh, cost that it cost us to create the actual collection so i'm gonna go ahead and do so so that we can see the full process there we go so they're sending the transaction i have to say so far really impressed with foundation um there is a it is a bit concerning that you can only choose base or ethereum as far as i can see at the current time of recording maybe they will add more chains we'll have to see uh, because a lot of people would like to choose different chains right but i guess um they can add more as time goes on okay very exciting ladies and gentlemen we have officially minted our nft and now immediately we can go and sell this nft right we can click on the sell button and we should go to the nft now we can add a reserve we can add a buy now option that's really cool so i guess this is how you view it now i just want to actually view the collection first so i'm going to go to my profile and let's click on that pink little icon of mine and here's my profile now here if you look there is a collection that says okay cool collections one so if i click there if it doesn't show up it took like maybe 30 seconds for it to populate here but this is the collection we created now you can see everything is a bit dull right a bit bland um i don't have a background i don't have an icon so i see that you can edit your profile you can add your name username you can add your social media handles which is of course very good if you are an artist and you want to have sales um, happen and people reach out to you right so i just wanted to point that out the same with a collection so i see that here's our collection but it looks bland so if i click there we can see the collection we can also see that there's one owner which should be me of the nft um we can also edit the actual collection so by clicking on edit maybe we can upload our logo and maybe a background image and of course a description so i am going to add a description in here i don't have a background image right now i'm just going to save it as is and there we go there's the logo so i can imagine you can build out as an artist your portfolio very nicely here right or you can create uh, a collection for a different series of artworks that you do like i've got lino art right so that's pretty cool um what else do i want to see i actually want to see the nfts i don't see the nfts okay cool so i had to click there for it to load but there we can see there's our nft and it just shows you how you can get to your collection and your nfts now like i said i think if you flesh this out you flesh out your profile and you get to send kind of your own collection, like your own personal gallery experience link like this to someone, uh, maybe your collectors. It's a great way to showcase your NFTs and it's a nice, easy way for them to click on this, um, get the details about it, you know, where it is on the contract. And I love the fact that you, you know, own the contract yourself and all sorts of wonderful stuff as well. You get the information, you see how beautiful this is displayed. I just feel this gives a, a very good gallery feel uh, to NFTs and, and I love it. So yeah, that was us creating the NFT. And now, of course, it's time to go and rate our experience. All right. So I want to start off by saying this is in no way a competition between these platforms as they have different objectives, right? And goals. But if you are an artist, you want to create something as I just did, this was my experience. So for the user friendliness, I would say that it was incredibly easy to use. There was not a lot of room for error simply because there wasn't that many settings to set. Um, maybe I missed some of these settings, but as far as I could see, it was very straightforward. Almost the straightforwardness that OpenSea had when we did OpenSea. But I feel like it's a bit more straightforward and less screens. I might be wrong, might be very similar. But that was my experience right so that's where i will put it at uh, user friendliness level i want to add that sometimes even though it's very user friendly as an artist you also have to consider the audience who's going to look at these pieces how many people 
of visiting foundation versus OpenSea and vice versa. Uh, in my experience, OpenSea being an OG, there's probably more people, more eyes to see your art versus a foundation, but it all depends on you as an artist. If you are someone that is great at marketing, then you wanna maybe uh, stick with a foundation because of the beautiful look of it. OpenSea also looks great, but you get what I'm saying. If you're gonna put in more effort yourself to try and market it, um, then you can kind of freely choose. But if if you are someone who kind of has to depend on the platform's visitors, then OpenSea is kind of, you know, a lot more active. Uh, but this might change in the future. Who knows? Moving on to customization. And I think uh, for foundation, there wasn't that many things to set. Uh, you can do the basic things like you can with a normal creation of a collection. You can change backgrounds of that collection. You can mint your NFT. You can sell your NFT. You can even do that split royalties that we saw. But the options are going towards limited options. Now, again, I might have missed a lot of these settings, but this was my experience, right? And rightfully so. I think if you are just there to create your art, upload it, and then focus on your marketing to get it in the hands of your collectors, then I would say that that's, hey, you don't need many customizations, right? Because that is the bare minimum that you need. So in my experience, that way I would put the customization. Now, will I use it myself? Well, of course I would. Uh, I have used it in the past and I do have my artworks on foundation and it's a great app. So of course I would. The thing is, would I use it if I had to choose to create a collection or an NFT today, which of these tools would I use? And to be honest, my first choice would be third web, mainly because of that customization part and I'm comfortable with it. You know, if I'm someone that was less comfortable with customizing the NFTs and smart contracts, I would go highly for foundation, but that is just subjective. That's to, um, you know, my point of view. So yeah, I've put it on very likely because there is a chance that I might feel like I don't want to customize a lot of stuff and then go and use it, you might consider. So that's where I'll put foundation for me. Anyway, guys, I do hope that you had a lovely time with me today. And as always, let me know in the comments what you want to see next and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe while you're at it. I cannot believe that this channel has grown into a channel that is 100,000 people subscribed to it and supporting and watching the content that I make. So I just want to say once again, thank you so much for everything. And till next time, have a beautiful day. Cheers for now.